Dean Ridden, PhD. We're going to have a read along. I'm skipping the preface. Real magic, ancient wisdom, modern science, and a guide to the secret power of the universe by Dean Ridden, PhD. Skip his dedication as well. All right. This book is about magic, not the fictional magic of Harry Potter, the feigned magic of Harry Houdini, or the fraudulent magic of Connors. Not blue lightning bolts springing from the fingertips, aerial combat on broomsticks, sleight of hand tricks or any of the other elaborations of artistic license and special effects. This is about real magic. Occultists sometimes use the old English spelling magic with a K at the end of magic to distinguish fictional and stage magic from the real deal. We'll use the more common term magic without the K at the end to avoid un unnecessary associations with the occult. Real magic falls into three categories. Mental influence of the physical world, perception of events distant in space or time, and interaction with non-physical entities. The first type I'll call force of will. It's associated with spellcasting and other techniques meant to intentionally influence in events or actions. The second is divination. It's associated with practices such as reading tarot cards and mirror gazing. The third is theurgy. From the Greek, from the Greek meaning God work, it involves methods for evoking and communicating with spirits. Unlike books that discuss beliefs about magic from psychological or historical perspectives, or that list recipes for spellcasting, the goal here is to explore real magic from an evidence-based scientific perspective. Why a scientific approach? You wouldn't know it by reading most college, ugh, college textbooks, but there's a vast scientific literature that informs our understanding of real magic. When I was in college, none of my coursework mentioned anything about that literature. But now, after four decades of experimentally studying magic, motivated by scientific curiosity, and without a religious background that might have biased me to be overly sympathetic about metaphysical concepts, I've come to two conclusions. First, there's no doubt that science is the most accurate lens on reality that humanity has developed so far. What we've collectively discovered about the nature of nature over the last three or four centuries, from the quantum to the cosmological, is an awe-inspiring testament to our creativity and imagination. Technologies based on that knowledge provide proof that our discoveries are valid. So. When considering real magic, it would be foolish to just throw away what we've already learned. But second, reality viewed through the lens of science is an exceedingly thin slice of the whole shebang. Science is tightly focused on the objective, measurable physical world. That focus excludes the one and only thing you can ever know for sure. Your consciousness. That inner spark of sentience that you call me.